Okay, the art too assignment was about creating a uh, collage of personalities. So people had, uh, we were given everyone a big box of magazines. So they were like fashion magazines, lifestyle, travel, sports, politics, anything. And everybody was told to pull anything that has any connection with them in terms of identifying with an image or color, texture, words, anything they can pull out that has some kind of meaning to them. So we were doing it in three different ways. So this uh, area here represents a collage that was just done on a piece of paper where you pulled anything and you organize it in whatever order you wanted to organize. And sometimes there were a lot of images, there was no empty space in the back, sometimes there were some empty spaces. Sometimes people would actually write their names and pull the elements like their interests, fashion, traveling, uh, food, um, anything that they wanted to be connected with in terms of uh, their interests. And sometimes people would go into more emotional feelings about what they wanted to talk about and they would pull elements that have a deeper meanings about their lives. Sometimes, like here example, uh, it was kind of the chronology of the life where a person would start to talk about their childhood and then go through the past into the future, showing different interests and some of them being related to the real life and some to the imaginary life they wished that they had lived and they would actually talk about it. And this, the reason why we do this is kind of an easy way for the person to open up and it's um, easy to just pull finished images instead of to actually have to sit down and create them yourself. So you're not drawing anything, you're just pulling something out and the images and the colors, they have a strong um, emotional um, effect in terms of memory and what we think about ourselves and how we relate to different parts of our personality and different parts of our lives. So we do it with, a lot with teenagers, especially when they don't want to talk about it and they don't want to draw. So some of these images were from our younger, um, younger participants in this class. And you can see, you know, they would just talk about the travel and elements from their bedroom and what they have on the walls. And then some people who have a little bit more experience, they would go to different aspects of their life, different professions they had, different things about their relationships, uh, how they think about uh, things in their life. And then sometimes uh, people would go into deeper meanings and pulling out the words. Like this particular example did show a lot of nature and elements from just uh, trees and water, textures. But then every time when it showed people, it would show it from above because the person actually didn't want to look into people's eyes. And she talked about um, how she loved and hated at the same time to be around people. So it just kind of showed her relationship to, um, to groups of people. So it just kind of showed a lot about uh, how she felt even in, in this particular workshop. And then also being told that she needed to do something like you need to. So it's just kind of showing different aspects. Uh, second way to go about doing the collage is to do like a little book that has the cover and then there's something else that's going on the inside. It's kind of more showing what the person on the inside really is and how it feels. So here it was about the person that on the outside seemed very strong and trying to balance everything, but then also showing the soft side and elements of being a mother and then other things that are important, important to her. Um, also this particular one where um, things that the person is being uh, seen as being rigid, needed to be on a diet, and then on the inside kind of dealing with those challenges. And you can see here how here it's a sad face, and then here it's more as a happy face. And also, you know, with, with different examples, people showing how they were seen as a, being um, just the solo players versus them being thinking about themselves as a team players and other aspects as well. So you can see how the inside and the outside can be very, very different. And then the third way we also do the collage is to actually separate the piece of paper in the past, present, and the future. And then you ask uh, participants to think about in those terms. So in this particular example, the person was talking about uh, some struggles in the past and some mental health care issues, and then how through the art it was overcoming them and then ideas for the future. And in some cases, um, we have those rigid lines where they separate 
past, present, and the future, and sometimes the people would still do like a creative flow from the past into the future, but still thinking about those elements. So in all together, you know, these are three different ways to do it, but in general, is the idea is to get as much information about, about the person as you can to really find out where the emotional triggers are and where the emotional problems are, and you can be helpful and facilitating those.